we want to make it so that it's in line, but we can't do that. So what we can do is draw a line from the middle of this to... I want to make it a straight line, but the view is making it quite difficult. The view is on an angle, so that is a straight line right there. And we want to make the dimensions of that line. So left click out and then middle click out again. We want to make that dimensions the diameter of the circle. Or well, actually the radius of the circle. So the circle I said was 5. Five millimeters or four point nine, did I say? But we'll we'll go with five. We'll go with five millimeters. So two point five is the radius. Enter, and now we can select a center and end center end point. Sorry, circle, and that will go to the extremity there. So left click on that, and then we'll middle click out. And we're going to now create a concentric circle, which will be a size. The size will be three in diameter. So creating a concentric circle. Middle uh, left click the concentric circle in in the middle and then middle click out and then we'll change that dimension to 3 so just zoom in on it and middle click out of it again if you need and then just span it until you get the dimension up We go three enter all right so now we can create the separation between the two hands so the line separation the distance of separation is approximately Distance of separation is approximately two point eight. Two point eight is the distance of separation between those two lines. So we're going to create a rectangle, corner rectangle, two point eight. We're just going to connect it to each point. So middle click out and we want to find out that dimension on the outside there yes 2.8 enter and now there you have it we now just need to delete these lines on the inside so left click on the delete segment tool and then delete that all these middle lines all oh, right that's our hand right there now that hand is going, we'll press OK on that. Oh, we just need a, we don't want exit sketcher. So middle click out of that. Oh, I oh know, we need to delete one more line. Delete that one. There you go. So left click OK once you delete that line. And we're going to go the opposite direction for the extrusion. And the size of the hand is the height of it is approximately 4.4 enter and just click OK on that Alright, we have now created our hand, 
So what we want to do now is get rid of these extra lengths. So I remember that was 50. Oh, that was 20, sorry. And this was 15.4. So we need to take 10 back off that. And then we need to take... Sixteen point eight six off that. All right, so going to the front view. We're going to select the extrude button, and we're going to select that plane there. And now we're going to click on concentric circle and click the outer extremity of that circle. That's what we're after. Get it. There we go. Is that it there? Boom. So wait until it hits green, left click on that, and then middle click out of it. And then we're going to want to click OK. And we're going to want to extrude that 10 millimeters. And left click enter. And we just want to remove material. So let's look at that. Oh, that is. Perfect. Perfection. And just click OK if it's removed material like that, like so. Alright, now the same thing we want to do with this side. So select that face, select extrude, and then change your orientation to the right side. And then we're going to want to click on concentric circle, and then, oh, perfect. Left click on the out, out extremity of that circle, that cylinder, and then you want to bring that yellow, that yellow circle to the extremity also until it turns green. So left click out of that, and then middle click out of that, and then middle click again, and left click OK. And now we're going to remove the material, and we said 16.86 worth of material being removed. And we just want to change the direction of that material being removed. Done. Click OK. And there you have it. That is our hand and arms. And arm. And now, the next thing, last thing we want to do is we actually want to mirror these two objects. So select everything you can there. We're going to make sure we have everything we possibly can have. Alright. So I've just pressed shift down and I've selected everything there. So let's click on mirror, the mirror feature. So left click on that. And now we want to choose the item which we're mirroring from. So we'll choose the right datum plane, which is the middle datum from the front view. So left click on that, and if all goes well, that is exactly what we want. So now you can click OK on that. And there you have it, folks, our Lego minifigure complete 3D printable object ready to be printed. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I know it's been fun for me. <laughs> lots of time, lots of dedication, but you'll get there. And we'll just click stop and I'll see you next time.